Hey guys, if you're in a one, and I'm talking about the Animal Crossing Direct. Now, for those who don't know, there was an Animal Crossing Direct today, so if you haven't watched it, spoiler alert. Now, I'm not going to talk about a lot of the things, actually, that was in it. Just a few that if you watch my other Animal Crossing video, you know I was a little bit concerned exactly how things would work in the game. Now, to be told, I don't think I've ever played an Animal Crossing, so this is kind of a newbie's view on the direct now i did like about the direct was that they announced not only that seasons will be happening based on when they happen around you but that you can pick northern or southern hemisphere that is cool because you don't want like if you live in the southern hemisphere when winter is during the june july and august months i believe to have a summer game because it is cool to like have the game reflect the seasons around you. So no matter where you live in the world, I guess the game will actually reflect proper seasonal timing. So that's that's cool that they even thought to put that in the game. Also, it looks like they're having a bunch of free updates. They didn't talk about whether any DLC will be coming, but they did talk about like you have free updates and seasonal updates, which once again adds to the realism of a simulation game, simply because being able to have certain events happen around the season that they would usually happen in real life is just one of those things that uh, makes the game feel a little bit more realistic. Also, another realistic aspect is that you have to actually go to the airport to actually go to other people's islands. And you can go to your friend's islands, they can come to your islands. But one of the things I was concerned about in my other Animal Crossing video was that can people like mess up your island? Like, can they cut your trees down that you don't want to cut down, stuff like that? Well, apparently there are some limitations because people you invite apparently to your island online will not be able to use like the axe and stuff unless they're in your best friends category. So be careful on who you allow in your best friends club, I guess, because your best friends can do what they want basically on the island, but other people will be limited. But, but as far as it seems, it doesn't seem like people who actually use your switch like your siblings or whatnot and have their own characters will be limited so i'm still kind of wondering how they're going to stop them from messing with your projects like if you were to set certain things up and then you let's say you go to work or you go to sleep or something and your sibling turns on the switch accesses their account and goes to wherever area on the island where you're doing your project or whatever and completely messes up how do they stop that i still don't know and it, i don't think it was touched in the direct so i guess we'll just have to find out later but up to eight players can have accounts on the island, on the same island. I kind of like that. That once again adds to the real realism. I mean, like, if you're using the other person's Switch, you most likely live in their house or something like that. So it, it's kind of cool that everybody is just on the same island. But with multiplayer, they showed, like, one player is the leader and the other ones are the followers. They didn't really go into details about the limitations, but they said that you would have to switch the leader out if, like, one of the followers wanted to buy something. So it seems like only the leader can do main actions while the followers, I'm not sure what they can do, maybe just help the leader out or something like that. I would rather, truth be told, if people could kind of just have free roam, like, you know, maybe just split screen. I think that in uh, another video, it did show split screen on the Animal Crossing. I'm not sure if it really did, but I think they did show split screen. So I'm not sure whether there's a different mode, like when you're playing with people on the same console, whether you have like maybe free roam mode where everybody is just split screen, everybody can just do what they feel like, or and then you have this leader mode where you have one leader and the rest are followers. I'm not sure exactly how that works. Also, we have a little bit of Minecraft going on here. What do I mean by that? Well, when it turns to night, things can get dangerous. And they even showed, like, if you get bitten by a bug, you may feel woozy and the guy actually passed out at one point or something like that. So it is kind of cool that they're going a little bit that route where, like, night you have to be a little bit more cautious. Other than that, they were just expected updates. Like, they show you how to buy a house. They show you how to get a loan. They show you how to do a lot of different things. So... It does look like this will be a very realistic simulation game, you know, other than all the talking animals running around. But what do you guys think about the Direct? Was it everything you wanted? And are you looking forward to buying the game next month? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. May God bless you all.